So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll be acting as the applicant and John will be the manager. So up till this point, we've had our viewing and I've expressed my interest in moving into the property. Um, so we'll start with the manager's process for how that onboarding begins. Yeah, so we've dropped into one of our uh, shiny demo accounts and I'm going to pop down to tenant find here and show you that we can begin an onboarding from the end of a successful viewing. Uh, today, we're going to uh, onboard a new applicant through our uh, onboarding process. And I'm going to choose which room that is and start filling out the basic details for this uh, applicant. Um, I'm going to indicate a planned start date for the tenancy at this stage, and I can um, and update that uh, later on as we go through the process. Uh, I'm going to say that a guarantor isn't required again at this stage. Um, my holding fee can be a maximum of one week's rent, and I'm happy with the payment instructions that have been remembered there for me. I'm going to give it a payment reference and move on to the application form, which is uh, a new short application form with just the mandatory questions. There are other questions here that I can include, and I'm going to ask a question all of my own. Have you ever lived in a house share before? And say that there is referencing to be done, and on we go. So at that point, um, I've triggered uh, a email notification and a text notification to the applicant to invite them to Coho and to allow them to join in a side-by-side -side onboarding process. Um, if you have uh, applicants who don't wish to do that, who wish to stay on WhatsApp or uh, on the end of the phone, then it is possible to move all the way through this onboarding process, doing the housemate steps as a manager within the manager dashboard. So uh, I've just picked up my email and I'm going to um, now create an account. Um so as most of you know, Coho creates awesome profiles for your properties, um, which includes the information about the tenants that they've opted to give. Uh, outside of giving a birth date, all of this information uh, is voluntary and you can just continue through it. Um, but I'm going to fill in my profile and uh, upon doing so, I will be taken to my tenant dashboard area where I'm able to see the status of the onboarding. So I can see right here I have two tasks to carry out. Uh, the first one is I need to pay a holding fee. So I can see clearly there's £151 to be paid which secures the room for seven days. The payment instructions are here with the payment reference. So I'm going to go along to my banking app, pay that money and mark it as paid. The next thing I have to do is give some information about me. So this is the application form. So um, I'll put in the information. Have I lived in a house share before? Um, I then have to consent to any reference checks should they be required and also declare that the information is completely correct. Um, at this point, we'll go back to the manager to carry the process. I've been, uh, I've been waiting patiently obviously for that process to be completed and I now on my dashboard have a couple of actions for the holding fee and the application form. Um, firstly it tells me that the holding fee has been paid so I would go to my bank and check that that is uh, correct and I would uh, mark that as received. Um, I'm then going to see that Van has completed the application form and I can review all of the information that has been provided and make sure I'm happy with uh, everything so far. Um, I can um, update the tenancy, turn referencing off at this stage, or simply just approve that application form and move on to the referencing process. Um, so I can see uh, within uh, the referencing area all of the information that Van has provided should I need to pass it on to a referencing company. And I'm going to click the button to indicate to Van that I have uh, started that process. I'm also going to quickly drop into uh, the messages here and uh, let Van know that I have uh, started the process 
and that he should be able to see what's going on within the next couple of hours. Um, okay, so over in my side, I can see in the activity that the reference check was started recently. Uh, I can also see that I've got a new message. So if I open up my messages, hi Van, started the referencing now. Uh, and I can reply here. We can have a conversation here which keeps you away from things like WhatsApp and gives access to the whole team to view those messages uh, and engage in that discussion. Super. So back at the reference checks, I've now had the OK back from the reference agency. So I'm going to provide that referencing uh, result, upload the information and uh, move on to the tenancy agreement. Um, so starting the tenancy agreement is yet another opportunity for me to uh, indicate uh, the start and end date of the uh, tenancy. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is create a rent schedule. Now, we will automatically create uh, a rent schedule for you based on the information that's been provided to date. And that includes a pro rata um, initial payment and optionally a pro rata final payment. So our assumption here is that every tenancy when it gets to the end of the fixed term is gonna go periodic. Um, and if that's yours too, then you can leave that as a full month's rent or you can tick the box and recalculate that process. Um, I'm gonna save the rent schedule that will get passed on to the uh, applicant during the process and add the tenancy agreement. So as I said, I've got the opportunity to amend the dates and because I know that Van is uh, involved in this process, um, I'm going to use what will be the quickest and smartest method, uh, which is to use our e-signature uh, process. Uh, this is the equivalent of, uh, of DocuSign that's built into Coho. Uh, of course, I can use options to uh, do a more traditional wet signature or include an agreement that's already been signed. But um, why would I want to do that when I can do everything instantly and electronically? Um, I'm going to upload a copy of the tenancy agreement that I've prepared. And I'm going to look here at the prescribed information. So um, as a Coho user, I've already been uh, adding this information to my property. It's got the latest gas safety certificates, EPC, EICR, etc. This is all of the statutory information that I'm required to provide as part of this process. And um, Coho is helping me to ensure that I've got the very latest one there and that I haven't got any slip ups with an old certificate being included. Uh, if I choose to, I can include other documents. So I've added one there for our fire safety certificate that I want to be signed as part of this signature package. And I'm going to uh, save that point and it will create the, the whole uh, signature packet and move it on to uh, Van for signature. So I'll have another notification to my phone or email to say there's a tenancy agreement that needs to be signed. So I can come in here, uh, I can see the proposed event schedule and how that's how that's laid out. But I'm going to come into it to sign the tenancy agreement. So if this was a real tenancy agreement, obviously I'd be downloading and reading through it, but you don't all want to sit through as I do that. So we're going to continue through it. The important information to sign and acknowledge uh, is shown here. So um, each one of these items I have to acknowledge before I can even carry on to sign it. Uh, and these can be downloaded and, and read, but again, I'm just gonna mark them all as acknowledged for now. Um, I now have to confirm my identity. Um, again, it's uh, uh, something important to be done for the e-signing process. So I'm gonna verify by email and pick up my email that gives the code. So this shows it really is me. I'm now going to sign um, and confirm and confirm that it's my account. Super. So back with the manager again. Um, I can now see that uh, Van has uh, signed the tenancy agreement I proposed and I can uh, look at all the information that I provided. I can see details of his signature and his uh, verification of his identity. And if I'm happy, I can proceed. 
Um, I can sign this on behalf of a landlord if I'm an agent, or I can carry on and sign it as the uh, landlord of this property. And uh, it's similar to Van, I've got to uh, verify my identity, which I've done by email. I'm going to sign that agreement, and I've quickly got to confirm my password. I also have the opportunity here to uh, basically take the room off tenant find, which will stop it being listed on uh, Coho, and it will also stop it being pushed to Spare Room and Facebook, because we now know that we've got a uh, confirmed tenancy that's going ahead. Um, so at this point, it's going to store all of that information. It's going to create the future tenancy against the room. It's going to take all of the information that's been used and created as part of the onboarding process and start to move that into the other areas of Coho. So my last step here is to set the move in monies. Um, what we're doing here is calculating how much we expect Van to pay us to be able to move into the property. Um, so there's a first rent payment amount, which is um, by default, the first pro rata payment and the first month's full payment. In this case, because they're very similar, I'm just gonna simply uh, take off the first four months payment and say that the first pro rata one is enough. That's included the deposit amount that I'd indicated and it's taken off the holding fee. So it's gonna tell Van uh, how much he needs to pay. Um, I've got my uh, payment instructions I'm happy with and I'm going to uh, give him a payment reference to use. And that again will pop a message over to Van to say that he needs to pay those move in monies to secure the room. So uh, here I am, excited about my new tenancy, and I can see that I've got £1,000 plus to pay, um, which includes the rent, the deposit, less the holding fee, and here's the place. So again, go to my banking app, use the payment reference provided, and I'm going to mark that as paid. Back with the manager. I've got an indication that Van has paid the move-in monies and I'm going through the same process I did with the holding fee of checking my bank account. I can see the details that we've provided to him and I can mark that uh, move-in money as paid. So uh, over in my side now, I'm going to reload Coho and show the um, show what my dashboard now looks like in a completed uh, tenancy. So I now have information about where I'm going to move to. Um, I've got access to the welcome pack. Uh, I can clearly see the rent and what I've already paid. Uh, the compliance documents are there and I can also see the housemates that I'm going to be moving in with so I can, I don't know, introduce myself to them and and get ready to move in on the day. Uh, back in the room, just to confirm that there's no double keying involved. I can see that I've got a future tenant here, uh, that Van's moving into the room. I can see he's moving in on uh, the 2nd of September um, with all of his uh, information that's been provided. I can see his rent schedule showing me when the next rent payment is, uh, is due and that the first pro rata payment has been paid. And I can see the tenancy agreement and all of the documents, including the e-signature receipt. Um, already attached to his tenancy and sitting in his room, which I think, other than handing over the key, uh, concludes the onboarding process.